We listed some of the philanthropies that were named beneficiaries of these Orange Theory charity classes, but digging a little deeper, this story gets even more infuriating. I met up with Justin Ramos. His husband, Matt Rigg, was a longtime Orange Theory Slabtown member. Rigg died of cancer, lymphoma, in December of 2022. Six months later in June, Matt's birthday month and Pride Month, Orange Theory held a charity class in his honor. Donations were supposed to benefit Pants Off Racing, a local nonprofit benefiting pancreatic cancer families. People sent money to Coach Ryan Tong's Venmo, even Justin, who wrote, in honor of my loving husband, Matt, who finally got me to do an Orange Theory class, matched by Orange Theory, Nike, and Adidas. He said the class was Tong's idea. Ryan talked to everyone and sort of mentioned Matt and talked about why that um, charity was really meaningful, talked about me and how I'm, you know, uh, going it as a single dad now. Um, so really it kind of tugged at everyone's heartstrings and people, I think, dug deep. How do you feel about it now? It's a kind of disgust, um, sad feeling. I also feel bad for our community and our family and friends who thought they were doing something really good to help, um, but kind of fell into this, this trap. Pants Off Racing confirmed to me that they never received the donations from that class. Ramos says people donated about $2,500, and Tong had promised the money would be matched to boost it to $10,000. Ramos says it's sickening, and his heart dropped when he found out this week, but he hopes this story can convince people to give directly to local philanthropies. There are a lot of um, good uh, charitable causes that um, can, can always benefit from a little bit of attention to the good things that they're doing. Um, and so in some way that could be a way to uh, move forward from this and find, find some positive out of a really ugly situation. Evans with me now. Please tell me this guy's been arrested. Not to my knowledge as of this point. Portland, Portland police are investigating this case and the company, the franchisee Honors Holdings, says that they will work with police in any investigation, but not as of now as I can tell. Also on the company, one more note for you. They told me today that they've changed their policy as of this situation and that only direct donations are allowed for charitable classes and Venmo's not a way forward. Yeah, that seems like a really good idea. <laughs> sure. All right. Thank you, Evan. Great stuff as always.